Big Ten ACC Challenge will turn into the ACC SEC Challenge next year. You can blame TV rights fees and big corporate money for all that, but we can at least enjoy that last challenge before the Big Ten and the ACC end it for now. Duke back at home hosting number 25, Ohio State. And man, it's a really good game for Kyle Filipowski. He's been really good. There he is with the jumper, the freshman looking good. Duke led by 10 at the half. Now we go to the second half. Ohio State was very physical. This guy killed Duke last year. Zed Key with the inside finish. Ohio State got as close as six. But Duke answered every run. The Aussie and freshman Tyrese Proctor with a nice look to Ryan Young. Duke up by eight. And then, of course, who do you need to ice it? You put it on the back of your junior leader, Jeremy Roach. 13 points for Roach. Duke wins 81-72. to 72. Pat Welter joins us live from Cameron Indoor Stadium. And Pat, Duke was 0-2 against ranked teams before tonight in the season. How much did this team grow up with this win? Chris, maturity is a word I heard a lot in the Duke locker room just now, and I think that's what you're starting to see. I mean, Duke was coming off a loss to Purdue, and John Shire told the team when you get knocked down, you have to get back up again, and they had an answer for every single Ohio State run in this game. Shire just called it their best managed game of the season. We are playing games, and now we're learning how to win games. And so when you have a lead, you don't play the same way if it's a tie game or if you're down. And... Uh, you know, Jeremy thought he did a really good job. Tyrese, Jalen, when he was in, just controlling our team. I mean, it was big time. I mean, uh, the young guys responded well uh, to, to the adversity. I mean, they got and they cut it down to five, and then we kind of got the lead back up to this eight, eight, nine. Um, so I'm just, I'm just happy with their performance and, and how much their uh, resilience was tonight. I think it's awesome. I think it shows a level of maturity, and we got to just keep getting better at that because, you know, from here on out, we're playing really good teams, and good teams make runs uh, no matter how, how well you're playing. So you got to be able to, to weather the storm. Jeremy Roach, the only starter back from Duke's Final Four team a year ago. I asked Jeremy, how much do wins like this help you during a Final Four run? He said it definitely helps you build confidence. This win was huge for us tonight, Chris. And they definitely look confident. Duke getting a win tonight at home. Pat Welter, live at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Thank you so much.